In today's era of modern warfare, aerial dominance is no longer defined solely by speed or firepower. It is now a matter of stealth, advanced sensors, data integration, and strategic versatility. Two fighter jets represent the peak of fifth-generation air combat technology, the American F-35 Lightning II and the Russian Su-57 Felon. These aircraft embody two vastly different military philosophies and technological paths. In this video, we'll explore a comprehensive comparison of the F-35 and the Su-57, from their design and stealth capabilities, to avionics, maneuverability, weapon systems, and global deployment. So, who truly rules the modern skies? Origins and Design Philosophy The F-35 and Su-57 were designed with fundamentally different goals in mind, shaped by the defense doctrines of their respective nations. The F-35, developed by Lockheed Martin, was born from the U.S. Joint Strike Fighter Program. It was designed to serve multiple branches of the military, including the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. The core emphasis of the F-35 is stealth, data fusion, and multi-role functionality. In contrast, the Su-57 was developed by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau, to fulfill the air superiority needs of the Russian Air Force. Its design prioritizes speed, maneuverability, and super agility. Unlike the F-35, which is optimized for long-range and networked warfare, the Su-57 is engineered for performance in close-range engagements, reflecting Russia's belief that traditional dogfighting may still play a critical role in future wars. The F-35 is best understood as an intelligent, data-centric aircraft, while the Su-57 leans toward raw performance and aerial dominance. Stealth and Radar Visibility Stealth is a defining feature of fifth-generation fighters. The F-35 is one of the most advanced stealth aircraft ever built. Its shape, radar-absorbent coating, and internal weapons bays significantly reduce its radar cross-section (RCS), making it extremely difficult to detect by conventional radar systems. The Su-57 incorporates some stealth features, such as internal weapon storage and radar-absorbing materials. However, its overall radar signature is larger due to exposed engine nozzles and a less stealth-optimized design. Analysts estimate that its stealth capabilities are not on par with those of the F-35. In a modern battlefield where early detection is often the key to survival, the F-35 has a clear advantage in stealth and radar evasion, avionics and sensor fusion. The F-35 is widely regarded as a revolutionary step forward in avionics and battlefield awareness. It features an AESA radar, distributed aperture system, DAS, and electro-optical targeting system, EOTS all of which are integrated into a single interface. These systems enable the aircraft to detect, track, and prioritize multiple threats across air and ground environments. What truly sets the F-35 apart is its sensor fusion capability. Data from all onboard and offboard sources is integrated into a single display, giving the pilot an unmatched tactical overview. This level of situational awareness allows the F-35 to operate as a command and control hub in the sky, sharing information in real time with other platforms. While the Su-57 is equipped with advanced radar and an infrared search and track IRST system, its level of sensor integration and fusion does not yet match that of the F-35. In terms of battlefield intelligence and network-centric warfare, the F-35 is significantly more capable. Engines and Maneuverability 
When it comes to thrust and maneuverability, the Su-57 takes the lead. It is powered by twin AL-41F1 engines, with future models expected to use the more advanced Isdelia 30 engine. These engines provide the Su-57 with supercruise capabilities and exceptional thrust vectoring for superior agility in the air. The Su-57 can perform advanced aerial maneuvers such as the Pugachev's Cobra and other high-angle of attack movements, giving it an edge in close quarters combat. This makes the Su-57 a highly capable dogfighter. On the other hand, the F-35 was not built with extreme maneuverability in mind. Its single-engine design and stealth-optimized structure prioritize survivability over raw agility. While it remains maneuverable, especially in the F-35A and C variants, it cannot match the Su-57's performance in visual range combat. Weapon Systems and Combat Roles The F-35 is designed for versatility across a wide range of missions. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles like the AM-120 AMRAAM, air-to-ground precision-guided munitions, and anti-radiation missiles. Internal weapon bays preserve stealth, while external hardpoints can be used when stealth is not a priority. The Su-57 also carries an array of modern weapons, including long-range R-77M air-to-air missiles and the upcoming K-77M. Russia is also developing hypersonic weapons for the Su-57, potentially giving it an edge in future strike missions. While the Su-57 focuses on air superiority and long-range strike capability, the F-35 is highly adaptable. It can conduct electronic warfare, provide intelligence, support ground troops, and suppress enemy air defenses. The F-35's mission versatility gives it a broader strategic value. Production and operational status. This is one of the most significant differences between the two jets. As of 2025, more than 1,000 F-35 units have been delivered and are operational in over a dozen countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, Japan, Israel, Italy, and Australia. It is combat tested and continuously upgraded through software and hardware updates. The Su-57, however, is still in the early stages of deployment. Only a limited number have been delivered to the Russian military, with full-scale production still facing delays due to technical and economic challenges. In terms of readiness, availability, and global integration, the F-35 is far more advanced and battle-proven compared to the Su-57. Military Strategy and Doctrine the F-35 plays a central role in NATO's modern air doctrine. It is designed to function as part of an interconnected battlefield, relaying information and coordinating actions across land, air, sea, and space domains. It doesn't just fly missions, it leads them. Meanwhile, the Su-57 is intended to serve as a high-performance platform in Russia's layered air defense strategy. Combined with ground-based systems like the S-400 and S-500, it enhances Russia's ability to protect its airspace and project power within regional theaters. These differences reflect each nation's approach to warfare. The U.S. favors a data-centric, globally connected air force, while Russia emphasizes layered defenses and physical superiority in regional conflicts. Conclusion. Who rules the skies? So who truly rules the skies, America or Russia? If the measure is stealth, digital integration, and global combat readiness, the F-35 is the undisputed leader. Its battlefield awareness, versatility, and operational maturity make it one of the most advanced fighters in the world. However, if the focus is on agility, raw performance, and dogfighting potential, the Su-57 holds unique advantages. As Russia continues to refine its engines and weapons, the Su-57 may become a more formidable rival. Ultimately, these two fighters represent two different visions of air superiority. The real question may not be which aircraft is better, but how well each is integrated into its nation's overall military strategy. In that broader context, the true king of the skies will be decided not in theory, but in the air. In the end, whether it's the F-35 or the Su-57 that dominates the skies, one thing is clear. Both represent the pinnacle of their nation's military innovation. 
The future of air combat will depend not just on aircraft, but on how well they are integrated into evolving strategies, technologies, and alliances. What do you think? Will stealth and sensors define the future? Or will raw speed and maneuverability make a comeback? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this in-depth analysis, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Insaid Channel for more military technology, strategy, and defense insights from around the world. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay sharp with Insaid Channel.